Hi teachers, this is Jerry and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to create an Excel survey for the use of parent contact information for open house night and then from there using surveys throughout the school year for whatever data you need to gather. If you'll start by going to your URL bar at the top of your browser and type in the direct link to take you to OneDrive which is your email suite as well as your um, OneDrive link. The web address is outlook.com slash gcsnc.com. The www is not necessary um, but either way will get you there. So it will default to a different uh, URL but in the center it should take you to something that looks like this. If you get a different screen that offers to take you to Microsoft OneDrive and it has pictures on the left hand side go ahead and put in your email address that is just actually getting you into the GCS server so once you type in your email address once it may ask you for it again but since I use it pretty often it's going to take me to this screen and enter your credentials for Guilford County Schools and sign in by default it takes you to your email first but at the very top you'll see that you have some options and if you'll click on OneDrive that's actually going to take you over to all of the Office 365 opportunities that you have. So here are my documents as you can see I have quite a few yours may look a little more empty if you aren't using yours as frequently but our screens pretty much uh, have the same functions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to New and from there you're going to scroll down to create an Excel survey which should be your second to last option. Give it a moment and the first thing they're going to ask you to do is give your document a name. Now feel free to call this whatever you'd like but I'm going to call this one parent contact information. And I've already created one so I'm going to just call this parent contact inf uh, information too. Press OK and Excel is opening in your browser because of course this is the online version. Now you're going to get a pop-up window that allows you to do all the editing for your survey in here. So starting with the title, this can be parent contact survey. If you want to add your team name or teachers names you can do that here. Um, you might want to let parents know that this is um, a secure and private way to collect information from them um, for the purposes of staying in contact with them all year. This information is only going to your OneDrive account and your Excel spreadsheet. No one else will have um, privy to this information. All right, so the next thing you'll do is go ahead and start populating your questions. Notice where it says enter your first question here. I clicked and then I got this pop out window. If ever you don't get this window, this little gear here will give you the editing tools for that question. As you can see, you can edit the question itself by typing in the text for your question. So the first thing I'm going to ask for, from my parents is for their first name and last name. You can put a subtitle if you need additional information there. You can also change the response type. Since I'm just asking for text from my parents, I'm going to leave it as text, but notice you have all of these options to gather feedback. I am going to make this a required question so that they have to answer it before they close out the survey just to make sure I get all the information. There is no default answer for this since their answers will vary and so when you're finished with the question and you're satisfied with the text simply hit done and you'll see your question shows up here. To add a new question click here and then the same situation uh, the same opportunity you had before to edit your question will be right here. So after the first and last name, perhaps you will make sure that you can um, put the right student with the right parent. Um, you may want to say your child's name. Oops. And same deal, I'll make that one required and keep it as a text question. 
Now you can add as many questions here as you'd like. Um, if you ask them for a phone number, um, you may want to make the subtitle um, primary contact number. Or you may want to add information information such as please include is this a work home sale etc so if you want additional information there you can type that if you need additional space for them to type or write something you can always change it to paragraph text again I'll make it required so they will have to fill that out and I may also ask them for additional information about their children that they may want to share. It can be anything from allergies to preferences, what have you. So make your uh, survey to your liking. When you're finished typing your questions, if you get to a question and you feel like you don't need it anymore, it is very easy to delete that question. Uh, using that gear again, you have an option to delete right here. So if you're happy with the questions in your survey, add as many as you like. The last thing you'll do is to share your survey. Click here to share that survey and you're actually going to get a link. Now you can share this in a multitude of ways. Since this is your link to your survey, you can right click and copy the link and you can have this up in a browser for your teachers to utilize, or excuse me, for your parents to utilize as they come through your um, your open house visits or you can post it to your website um, you can send it to parents via email once you collect those if there are a lot of different ways that you can do this so just to show you what it will look like I'm just gonna open a new tab I'm going to right click and paste just to make sure that I'm seeing what I want to see and this is what the survey will look like for parents. This is all they will see. So once they put in their first and last name, and they put the information desired, they'll simply hit submit and they're finished. Now what you might want to encourage your parents to do after each survey is finished, they can just come up here, click, and press enter and that will give a fresh survey for the next parent or you could have uh, someone kind of watching that part for you. Now going back over to this tab in real time I can see any information populated to this spreadsheet that only I can see so this is a great quick way to get information from your parents. Now if you get to this screen this is your Excel spreadsheet once you get to this screen and you need to pull up your survey again, someone closes it by mistake, it's no problem. Notice here you have several editing options, one of which is survey. When you click survey, you can go back into your survey to view it, to edit, to delete, or to share again. You can always go back and add questions. You can always go back and delete questions, you know, fix spelling, those kinds of things. Um, you can share survey from here or from this option I just mentioned click share survey and then I get that link again and I can do whatever I need to do with it so you can come back and revisit this survey as many times as you need to if all parents don't make it to open house which they usually don't you can always send this out to parents later on or you can post it to your website as I said before but this is just a quick and easy way to minimize the paperwork that you have to deal with in the beginning of the year hopefully this was helpful if you have any questions about how to uh, get back to your survey just let me know but remember because this is in your OneDrive it's accessible uh, via any website site so when I click my name I'm taken back to my documents here and I've just created that parent contact information so here it is everything is listed alphabetically and here is my parent survey and I can go back anytime to click into that document and retrieve the information or start the survey again one thing I want to mention is that when you click on it or click back into it you will need to take one extra step of clicking edit workbook and we want to edit online 
because that is what's going to give our survey feature and you're taken back to the screen that you're familiar with. So if you have any questions about creating your survey or how to uh, access your survey, how to make sure that it's visible for parents, please let me know and I will be happy to help you. Thanks again. Have a great day.